How much do we care about the future of our planet? Are we really concerned with the future of our children and grandchildren? These are important questions for any age, but particularly today. The world is warming up, and there's a wide consensus that this is due to man-made carbon emissions caused mainly by the use of oil, coal, and gas-fueled electricity power stations. The threats are significant. The polar ice caps are melting, and the sea levels are set to rise significantly. The world is getting warmer, and temperatures are rising. What will this mean for Africa as a whole? There are no clear answers yet to these questions. But wouldn't it be good if technologies were developed which saved energy, saved money, offered very fast paybacks, and provided better quality than what we use today? The good news is that these kinds of solutions already exist. Take, for example, the case for energy-efficient lighting. Today, 19% of all electricity generated worldwide is used for lighting. And there are two key facts to remember. Firstly, that about two-thirds of all lighting installed in the world today is energy inefficient. It's based on technologies developed before 1970. And secondly, that during the past decade, there's been a revolution in lighting. New technologies can provide energy savings of up to 80%, whilst also providing better quality light. This means people feel better, and our children will also benefit. If the world were to switch from the older to the newer lighting technologies, it would save more than 150 billion US dollars per year in running costs, or 550 million tons of carbon. For Africa, these figures are 2.5 billion US dollars, or 17.5 million tons of carbon. The technologies to achieve these savings already exist today for all market segments, and the benefits are huge. Reasons to switch to energy efficient lighting include saving money, reducing carbon emissions, helping to safeguard our children's future, reducing the load on power stations and reducing investment costs in new ones, providing higher quality light, demonstrating leadership in green. And the new lighting technologies to make these savings exist today. Alternatives for the incandescent light bulb in the home include CFL lamps, energy savings 80%. Eco-classic halogen, 50% energy savings. Master LED, 80% savings. In buildings, the use of new TL5 fluorescent systems, along with electronic ballasts and lighting controls, can save up to 75%. On our roads, new lighting control systems can cut energy consumption for road lighting by 50%. Whilst in our shops, new compact HID lighting can replace halogen and compact fluorescent lighting, saving up to 80%. High-quality LEDs are now also appearing for office lighting. The new Philips Fortimo LED system, for example, offers a 50% energy saving when compared to fluorescent downlights. This is a real breakthrough and is the start of things to come. And the real savings lie in the refurbishment of the older existing lighting schemes. So, if there's a need, and the solutions exist, what's the problem? The main issue is that the current switchover rate to energy-efficient lighting is too slow. For example, in buildings in the EU, it's 7% per year, or for road lighting, only 3% per year. At this rate, it will take another 30 years to benefit from today's savings. There is still not enough awareness with people and organizations that energy efficient lighting will also save you a huge amount of money during its lifetime. Often, new lighting technologies initially cost a little more, but save very significant amounts of money during their lifetimes. For example, a CFL energy saver that costs, say, $3 to buy appears to be more expensive for the consumer than a 50-cent incandescent light bulb. However, 
During the lifetime of the CFL Energy Saver, the consumer will save up to $90 in electricity costs. This principle holds true for all energy efficient lighting today. People and organizations who choose the cheapest initial purchase are therefore actually buying the most expensive solution. Energy efficient lighting offers a triple win. The consumer or company gains because of fast cost savings on their energy bill and from better quality lighting. The environment wins because the demand for electricity is reduced and the economic competitiveness of a country or region is strengthened. So how can we speed up the switch to energy efficient lighting today and make an impact for the future? In December 2006, Philips became the first lighting company to call for a phase-out of incandescent light bulbs. And since then, many governments around the world have taken action and are preparing legislation for lighting based on setting minimum performance criteria. The list is already large and still growing. Today, Africa is not yet on this list, and leadership in this area can still be claimed. Philips is looking to be your partner in this switch. Join us in achieving more energy savings and discover the many benefits for your own organization, your home, and for the planet. Part of the solution to climate change. It's a simple switch to make, and the world needs to switch. Because a greener, sustainable world, a world fit for our children and grandchildren, is a world that only uses energy-efficient lighting.